Sid Meier's civilization beyond Earth is your chance to create the future of humanity. After emerging from the global dark age known as the Great Mistake, the human race struggles to survive on Earth. The redeveloped nations focus on finding a new home on a new planet. Now, your leadership is needed to colonize these alien worlds, amass mighty armies, and make contact with new life forms. Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth is a game of discovery and creation, all fueled by your sage decisions. This new entry into the award-winning Civilization series from Firaxis will feel familiar to longtime players, while some all-new features may seem a little alien. The unexpected worlds of Beyond Earth will present you with surprising challenges from your first turn to your final victory. Your mission begins by selecting a sponsor, assembling a spacecraft, choosing cargo and colonists, and launching into the unknown. Even these early decisions will be vital to your long-term survival and victory. There are eight expedition sponsors to choose from, each with his own cultural identity and distinct advantages. Once you make Planetfall, carefully evaluate the resources available in your landing area and settle in. This will be your capital, from which you can chart a course for development. You must prioritize between food, production, culture, science, and energy. Venture out and scout this unfamiliar world, setting up new outposts to expand your empire early. It won't be long before other colonies begin to pop up. Push back the fog of war to reveal lush, arid, and fungal biomes, full of alien terrain and creatures. But beware of dangers like the poisonous miasma, which can be harmful to any unit that ends its turn within it. Set up research technologies and deploy satellites to support your expansion. The orbital layer offers many strategic capabilities. Satellites will eventually fall out of orbit, so be prepared to send explorers out to survey these crash sites. As an ambassador for the human race, your primary consideration is its well-being. There are a variety of factors that will affect your civilization's health. Be mindful of them for increased production and faster growth. This is an alien world. Attack at your own risk, but know that there are always peaceful alternatives. Initially, you'll want to send units out to chart your surroundings, locate resource pods, and undertake expeditions. Each explorer carries a limited number of expedition modules, which are used to uncover artifacts or recover resources from fallen satellites. As you seek out wild zones, you may stomp out alien nests to harvest their resources. These rich areas are a great place to start a city, but these ecosystems have natural defenses. For instance, killing smaller enemies like wolf beetles will eventually raise the ire of larger siege worms and krakens. The temperament of the indigenous life forms is represented by their icon color. Identifying the right time to expand outward is a critical skill. After research and pioneering, you can create colonists who will venture out to build outposts. After a set number of turns, an outpost will transform into a city. At this point, the city becomes useful and productive. Humanity must adapt to survive. Your civilization's philosophy for adaptation is known as an affinity. There are three affinities to choose from, harmony, supremacy, and purity. These affinities affect everything from changing how your buildings and units function to revealing unique resources. Colonies that follow the harmony affinity focus on transforming humanity through gene splicing and genetic modification. Harmony leaders seek coexistence with the aliens and the native terrain. Advanced Harmony colonies can produce their own versions of native alien life and derive healing agents from the planet itself. Supremacy colonies believe humans can settle any world through nanotechnology, augmentation, and cybernetics. Supremacy leaders adopt a more robotic appearance and advanced units include unmanned drones and combat robots. Purity colonies believe that this new world should be adapted to humanity's way of life. Purity focuses on the preservation and glorification of human history and physiology. 
These civilizations rely on sophisticated exosuits and vehicles to survive and conquer. Each affinity progresses through quest decisions and the development of new technology. Higher affinity levels reap more powerful bonuses and greater access to unique wonders that can be critical to victory. Affinities are entirely situational and not preset based on faction leader personalities, so each game is a completely different experience, ripe for experimentation. Sid Meier's civilization, Beyond Earth, breaks the conventions of linear development, constantly pushing you into an uncertain future with experimental technology. The tech web is where all your skills and research live. Each primary tech has a few associated specialized techs attached to it, and you don't have to move in one set path to unlock new techs. You'll start in the center of the web, with familiar technology nearby and exotic elements at the fringes. Choose carefully, you won't be able to unlock the entire web in one game. Advance your units by unlocking new technologies. But keep in mind they cost resources to maintain. Keep them alive, and they can be a key asset throughout your game. Your new civilization will really begin to take shape as your colony expands across the land, sea, and skies. Tact in diplomacy, trade, and alliances will give you a great advantage over your neighbors. For the first time, you have the ability to trade and save favors from other leaders. You can also operate from the shadows with a spy agency, deploying your agents on covert ops across the planet. Researching pioneering will also allow for the creation of trade routes and convoys between cities in order to increase resources and energy. You can also set up trade between independent specialized stations Stations provide powerful yields that get more lucrative the longer you trade with them, but they must be cultivated and sheltered. As you advance your technology, you will also begin to encounter quest chains. Quests reveal more about your society on a day-to-day -day personal level and provide bonuses for your actions and decisions that can affect affinity. Colonization and development are exciting, but always keep your end game in sight and be prepared to shift with the climate of the game. There are five possible ways to win in civilization beyond Earth. The Purity Affinity wins the game by constructing the Exodus Gate, connecting this new planet to Earth. They bring refugees out from Earth to a new home in the Promised Land Victory. The Harmony Victory constructs the Mind Flower, which merges the consciousness of all living creatures with the latent sentience of the planet in the Transcendence Victory. The Supremacy Affinity also returns to Earth in the Emancipation Victory, but they send a peacekeeping force back to Earth as they bring their technological enlightenment to those on the original homeworld. The remaining two victories do not rely on any one affinity. In the Contact Victory, you will discover a mysterious signal decode it and build a beacon to attract a benevolent advanced alien race and serve as ambassadors for humanity. In the domination victory, you conquer your opponents and capture their capitals while keeping your original capital, becoming the unquestioned ruler of the planet. Regardless of which path to victory you choose, you will need to be aware of your own strengths and how your opponents might be trying to win for themselves. <laughs> It's time to leave behind the civilizations of old and venture forth across the endless void of space to seek out a new way of life for humanity beyond Earth. The future is but one more turn away. <laughs>